Eminem, Marshall Mathers, Mr. Chicka Chicka Slim Shady himself just dropped another album at midnight last night. But before we get into that, let me introduce myself. My name is Rami B and this is a new segment I am starting called Five Minute Reviews because I don't have no time, you don't have no time, and we just want to get through this as quick as possible. So this segment is going to be a place for me to do reviews of albums and movies in under five minutes or maybe some video games too, whatever I want to review honestly. So let's get started. Last night at midnight, Eminem hit us with the high unanticipated album Kamikaze. Well, after he released his album last year, Revival, and it did very, very poorly in the charts. A lot of people didn't like it. The public reception was horrible for it. Overall, a bad album. Probably his worst album to date. Um, I think he just felt angry and decided, you know what, let me lash out on everybody. So he released a 46-minute, 13-track album called Kamikaze, where he literally unloaded on everyone. He took no hostages. He took, he, he, he took no hostages. He literally unloaded on other rappers rappers, fans, and media personalities. Just to give a quick, quick review of what I thought about this album, I'm going to break down the track listing and a couple of the notable disses in the album and then state my favorite track. So let's start with the disses. First shot he took at was at Lil Yachty. A general shot naming Lil Yachty, but the whole new generation of rappers. I think he did mention that it's not Lil Yachty himself. He just can't feel that mumble music. He doesn't really know what fans are listening to nowadays. And I agree with him. He even followed it up by saying if he released his last album, and auto-tune, people would have probably liked it since a lot of the lyrics went over their heads and they were too dumb to understand. That was literally the first shot he took. And then he also took shots at Iggy Azalea, Machine Gun Kelly, Lil Pump, Lil Xan, Tyler the Creator, literally anybody that had an opinion about him or he just didn't like their music. Machine Gun Kelly seems a little bit of bad blood between them because Machine Gun Kelly made some comments about Haley and then took a shot at him on a Tech 9 featured song. So Eminem had that line like, you don't need to bust nines to hit me with a submachine gun. I don't, you know who I'm talking about Kelly, something like that. But he took a shot at Machine Gun Kelly for talking about Haley and mentioning him before. And more of the notable bigger disses was he dissed Joe Budden because of his opinions on Everyday Struggle Work. Honestly, I don't really understand why he dissed Joe. Joe never even listened to the album. He just said that one single was garbage, which it was. And I think the media just ran with it that Joe is hating on Eminem. So Eminem took a shot at him, bringing up past domestic violence, charges that were dropped and he was never, you know, prosecuted for. He also took shots at Academics, which, you know, I'm not a big fan of DJ Academics myself. He does have a lane for him. He does do like that younger new generation of music. I don't understand it. So personally, I'm not a fan of it, but I do listen to some of his commentary. And then of course he took a shot at the biggest artist in the world currently, Drake. He took some shots talking about how he writes his own hooks and you know, you may get views, but I'm underlooked and I write my own hooks and I've been doing numbers. So I don't know what the issue is between them two. I don't know if it's a shot directly at Drake because there is some tension or it's a shot because he just doesn't like how fans don't care about ghostwriting anymore. So let's get into the track listing. So I'm going to start with the tracks that were not in my top five favorite, just going in order. First one is Stepping Stone. Good, good song. It reviews a lot of the stuff that happened between him and D12 in the past and just their relationship, how they broke up, but they're still friends and how he felt that he was really carrying the load and he really didn't want that pressure. Reminded me a little bit of like Toy Soldiers. I'm um, just talking about some real stuff. Next one is called Greatest, which was just him literally rapping about how he's the greatest. A lot of lyrical slaughter, lyrical miracle, you know, all that kind of stuff going back and forth with himself, just showing the world that, you know what, he still got bars and Eminem, in fact, still has bars. Next is Fall. I'm gonna be honest, I listened to it without really paying attention. Sounded like an okay song. Wasn't really a big fan of it myself, so I can't really speak about that one much. Then there was Nice Guys and Good Guys, which featured the same artist, which was someone named Jesse Reyes. Pretty good. It reminded me of like his bad guy, so it's like more introspective, talking about himself, and I feel like both tied together. The song Venom, really don't have an opinion about it. It was literally made for the Venom movie, so I can't really rate it too much because it's not really made to be like a single or anything like that. It's just, you know, a movie promotion emotional thing. But let me get into my top five tracks on this album. Number five is the track Normal, which he's literally rapping about women and how they can't be normal and how maybe it is him and maybe he should start acting normal. Just a little, you know, different pace of record on this album where he's taking shots and being aggressive. So really enjoyed that record. Thought it was really interesting. I liked the flow and I really liked the concept of it wholly. The next one is Not Alike with Royce the Five Nine where he's literally telling rappers he is not like them. And if you know Royce the Five Nine, all lyrics, all bars, literally killing it. So I really enjoyed that because it was all about bars and you know lyricism and all that. Great record, loved it. That would probably be my number four best record. Number three I would say is The Ringer, which is the first track of the album where he is taking shots at Lil Yachty, Machine Gun Kelly, Iggy Azalea, Lil Xan, all of them. That's the song where he's literally taking shots at fans saying if y'all, if my last album was an auto-tune you would have liked it, yada yada yada. Just He's literally taking shots at fans calling us dumb. 
you know, pretty much that's it. Number two would be Kamikaze, and that's the track. I love the beat, very aggressive beat. He's rapping a little bit faster on that. That's where he took shots at Joe Budden, Academics. That was just overall a great track. Really like the aggression and the aggressiveness in his lyrics and voice. And the hook, I really like the hook. I don't know who was singing. They weren't credited on the credits or on the track listing, so I really don't know who it was. And then my favorite song is Lucky You with Joyner Lucas. Great song, again, aggressive. I love how the flows change from slow to fast for both of them. And I don't know, I just really like the concept of the song where they both, they both really killed it, to be honest. Again, I only listened to this album for one minute fully, so I can't really dive in depth to the album and what I thought of it. So this is really a quick, five minute review of the album based on one total listen. I think overall this album was great and very much needed in his discography because his legacy was kind of, it was a good legacy chart, don't get me wrong, you know, he has his legacy cemented, but Marshall Mathers LP2 and Revival kind of put a little mark on that legacy, but this one, he's coming back angry. I like angry Eminem, I love rapping Eminem, reminds me of the earlier days of Eminem and recovery Eminem, because on recovery he was spit. So I really enjoyed it, glad he put it out, I'm glad he didn't hype it up, there was no promo, anything, he just kind of dropped it. And the name calling, I don't mind. It is hip hop. I don't mind the name calling as long as it doesn't get violent or off music. I really don't care. But if they want a rap battle, you know, sometimes calling people out and, you know, dissing rappers is what makes people step their game up and rap back. So overall, I like the album. So far, I would give it probably an 8.5 out of 10, maybe 9. I feel like if I actually listen to it on headphones and actually, you know, sit down and pay attention to the lyrics, I'm sure I would enjoy it. But thank you very much for tuning in to this five minute album review of Eminem's Kamikaze album. If you are new here, make sure you click the subscribe button down below like this video and comment how you feel about this album or any opinions you may have. I know I said I keep it under five minutes, so I hope the review itself was under five. I'm not really counting the intro and outro, so you know, let me get away with that. Let me get away with that. But thank you very much, and until next time, I am out. <laughs>